Hi guys, welcome back to Making Food Monday. This week we're gonna make another super easy classic dish. This one's a New York style dirty water hot dog. For today's recipe, we are going to need hot dog buns or your bread of choice. We're gonna need vinegar, nutmeg, cumin, and of course, hot dogs. I've just got the cheap brand from Walmart. I've got Bar S. You can use what you like, but this is all we're gonna need for today's recipe, guys. The very first thing I'm going to do is add eight cups of water to my pot. Four and four more makes eight cups of water. Then I'm gonna add two tablespoons of vinegar. There's one. And there's two tablespoons of vinegar. Up next, I'm going to add one eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. One eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. And I'm gonna add one eighth of a teaspoon of cumin. One eighth of a teaspoon of cumin. I'll kinda make sure that that gets mixed around a little bit. Make sure my cumin doesn't stay in one lump. And that's all you guys, we are already done with the hard part. Now this is a super simple recipe, but the reason that I've decided to try it today is that my mom told me that this actually does make even the cheap hot dogs taste really good. I'm not a hot dog fan, usually I prefer cheeseburgers to hot dogs, but my mom says that this recipe makes hot dogs, even the cheap hot dogs, taste good. So, we're gonna try it. Up next, we're gonna add our hot dogs. I'm going to use two packs of hot dogs and I'm just gonna drop them still frozen right down into my water. The only thing I wanna make sure of is that all of my hot dogs are completely underneath the water. Now, if you're feeding a large crowd, you could certainly add more hot dogs. Again, you just wanna make sure that all of your hot dogs are completely under that dirty water. And that is it, you guys. We are ready to seal up our pot. Now we're gonna drop down here to our chicken function because that's my high pressure. I'm gonna bring the time cook down to one minute, you guys, because hot dogs do not take long to cook at all. One minute. Okay guys, my time has expired. It's time to let my pressure up. There we go. Now we can open it up. Ah! Well, those aren't very attractive. Guys, the recipe said to go zero minutes on your pressure cooker, but my pressure cooker doesn't do zero minutes, so I went for one minute, and that was apparently one minute too much because now all of my hot dogs have exploded. Hopefully they'll still taste good. Those are not the tasty looking hot dogs I was going for. These look less than tasty. <laughs> So I brought dad into the kitchen with me today because dad does something extra special, weird, with his hot dogs from back when he lived in Colombia. So he's gonna show us today the way that you eat a traditional Colombian style hot dog. So I have set up here all of the traditional ingredients that we might need for a hot dog. I've got relish, ketchup, mustard, fry sauce, dill relish, raspberry jelly, pineapple, potato chips and an egg? Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> yes. Usually, traditionally, you use a quail egg, not a chicken egg. Okay. All right, Dad, show me what we're doing. So you take your bun, put your hot dog, and that's your base. You always have to start with ketchup. I don't know that that's true, because I never start with ketchup. In fact, I never put ketchup. Follow very closely with some mustard. I'm already out. <laughs> and then, sweet relish. Now, the order doesn't really matter. This is just the order I do it. So this is a combination of the uh, sweet and savory. Next, some fry sauce. This oh. isn't real. Like, you don't really eat them like this. Uh, I don't yes, believe you. Yes, you do. And now, you take your raspberry. This is not real. Oh, yes, it is that's, real. That's, ugh, that grosses me out, to be perfectly honest. Why would you put raspberry jam on a hot dog? Who came up with this? Mm. <laughs> and then, crushed pineapple. Crushed 
pineapple. Now this is my... like all on one hot dog though. Yeah, this is my favorite part. Your texture. Potato chips. Okay, I can I can do the potato chips on a hot dog. That sounds okay. But not just you don't go and use places like this. No, you you crash your baby, and that's your texture right there. Say, um, I'm skeptical. Then you put a little bit more fry sauce on it. Fry sauce, by the way, is very popular in Colombia. Okay, and then is the hard-boiled egg on top, or at least a slice of it. Or at least a slice of it. So, what's the difference in a quail egg and a chicken egg? Well, the quail egg is like tiny. The size is that all? Yeah, and you put it there. And right now, let's put two. Are you supposed to have two quail eggs? No, I think just you're cheating. one. You just put one. <laughs> and then, a little bit more of this there. Just to make it pretty? Yeah. I don't know about that. Ta-da! I almost forgot. They would have taken my Colombian card. Jeez. Jeez, Dad. There you go. That is legitimately a hot dog. I promise you. And there we have it, guys. A Colombian style dirty water hot dog. Okay, Jax, I've got it made and it's plated. Now we need our. Do it. Do it. What is that? Hungry dogs. Hot dogs. Are these my hot doggy pigs? Because I don't know what pig I am. I think it's a hot doggy pig and a daddy pig. He's our original Colombian pig over here. Uh, who thinks these hot dogs look, I don't know, yummy? Me. Can I go? Everybody does, yes. look at that, all hands up. Can I go? Everybody please? wants to eat today, but since this is a Colombian special, I think dad should go last. So Jordan, how about you go first? Yay, thank you. <laughs> this smells good. So Jordan's got a mostly Colombian. He doesn't have any ketchup, mustard, or yeah, that's all. Ketchup and mustard, he doesn't have. Everything else he does. Get all up in there. That's not what I was expecting. <laughs> A lot better, actually. Yeah? Yes. You hush. Mm -hmm. I like the sweet <laughs> with, the salt, with the salty. Yeah, I think it matches well. The raspberry is definitely a good touch. Yeah, ah, you see? I told you guys. I told you guys. <laughs> and I'm going to try it with the egg. Okay. Mm. Yeah, the chips and the egg. Mm, that's really good texture. I really like that. You hush. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jax. We need to know what Jax thinks. Jax has a little piece of egg on top of his, and he's got, it's, it's, he's got it's dill. Like it up. Relish, that's okay, just lean over here like this. I put the raspberry and the pineapple on the side for Jackson because I didn't want to mess up his hot dog, but he has the cheese and he has dill relish with an egg on top. And you can put a little bit of pineapple on your bite and see what you think. Just eat a little bit of pineapple, see if it tastes good in your mouth. There you go. And a little bit of raspberry. And a little bit of the raspberry. Not for real. See if it tastes good with your bite of hot dog. What do you think? No, you're not that, that mix. Not big on the uh, raspberry and pineapple for your hot dog. It I could be though. Pineapple. It could be though that he has dill relish instead of sweet relish, and that might make all the difference because that pickle flavor just might not go well. What do you think? Is it good? What do you think of the flavor of the hot dog? Let's just go back to the flavor of the hot dog. Is it? I really like. Does it taste like a Yegler hot dog, or is it good? It tastes like a Yegler hot dog, but better. 1% better. <laughs> <laughs> How many thumbs are you going to give that? For this, this, and this. How about just the hot dogs in the pressure cooker? Yeah? It's yes. also time, so higher. Because Jackson loves hot dogs. Mm -hmm. Thanks, man. Okay. All right, Miss Pineapple, you're next. Malia opted for the not so Colombian version. She's got potato chips and cheese, and she said no to everything else. So, Mia? Taste your hot dog. Really, what I'm interested in is do you like the flavor of the hot dog? Because that was cooked in the dirty water, as you recall. Dirty? 
It's called dirty water. What's the happen? Basically, the, the thing is, they say that a New York hot dog tastes very different from all other hot dogs because of the water that it's cooked in. And it's cooked in the water from the Hudson River, which isn't true. But, Hudson River. But this water is the second best thing if you can't get water from the Hudson River. Didn't Henry Hudson discover the Hudson River? Eat your hot dog. <laughs> Stop learning things. It was my assignment for social studies. That's a big bite of bread. That's her favorite. So what do you think of the flavor of that hot dog, Melina? It's really, 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 really good. So is it better than just a regular hot dog? Because you don't really like hot dogs very much, right? I hate hot dogs. So is this a good hot dog? It's good. If I made hot dogs like this all the time, would you eat hot dogs? Yeah. All right. I would get tired of it eventually. Well, yeah. I, I wouldn't cook it every day. But you like them like this? Yes. Okay. How many thumbs are you going to give that, Miss Mia? As the same as Jackson. Ooh. No, I'm a liar. No, all right. Never said I Dad. All right. And I got the works. Dad got the everything on his. Mmm. That is so good. Oh, that hot dog tastes really good. You like the hot that dog? The flavor of it, wow. It's cooked in dirty water. Mmm. It just doesn't make it taste like, you know, a hot dog tastes, when you like boil it in dog. water, it just tastes like a hot dog. This tastes fancy, like. Ooh. Um, These are just the regular cheap, boring bar s i don't mean to say that they're cheap and boring i just mean they're the, just nothing over nothing special. nothing fancy about them they're just a hot dog but i think the water it just gives it a really good flavor and with all this stuff on top it's so good oh, that raspberry is just so good it's so is so this good. reminiscent of home did we oh. get all the right ingredients it, it yeah so how many thumbs are you gonna give the hot dogs dad more than everybody oh i don't <laughs> think you can be higher than jackson he said no, he's the highest it's really good don't ever make any other hot dog, like, not even yeah, really. Yeah, regular hot dog. Yeah. <laughs> this definitely elevated the flavor a lot. And, and with all this stuff on top, even better. Mm. Okay, guys, my final thoughts. This might be the easiest recipe I ever put in my pressure cooker. Now, the hot dogs didn't quite turn out the way that I expected them to because they all, like, exploded in the pressure cooker. But... If you can take your pressure cooker down to zero minutes, I don't think that will happen. Um, the flavor though is well worth having exploded hot dogs over because it did really elevate the flavor of those plain boring hot dogs to something that was actually kind of gourmet tasting. I don't think it was necessary to have all of that fancy stuff on there um, for the hot dogs to be good. The hot dogs were good by themselves, however, I do have to kind of admit that those were really good toppings. I didn't have mine with mustard or ketchup because I don't like mustard or ketchup, but I put everything else on mine and they really do go to good together. Don't tell dad I said that though, because I can't have him knowing that I was making fun of it and that I really liked it. But they really are quite tasty. Um, if you want to try it the way we tried it, those are all your ingredients you're going to put on top. And uh, this one is going to get two thumbs up for me because even without all of those crazy toppings, these were still just really good hot dogs. Guys. What do we think of dirty water hot dogs? Like top three hot dogs I've ever had. They're really good, right? I, I was actually, okay. I am not gonna say that I didn't believe my mom when she said these were good hot dogs, but I thought they're cheap hot dogs. How good can they be? But really, I would eat that again. Yeah. And I don't care for hot dogs. Yeah. I think they I were really quite tasty. Them. And even without all the toppings, the crazy toppings that daddy had us add because that's how Colombians eat their hot dogs, even without all that, the flavor of the hot dog was really good. I, I think I think that it's really stupid that cheese and chips aren't like a normal topping. Yeah, that should be standard, right? That should be standard. Cheese that and amazing on it. Cheese and potato chips should just be standard on that a hot dog. Amazing. Do you agree, Malia? Yeah. Yeah, Jackson, do you agree? Okay, from now on, cheese and Potato chips crumbled on top of your hot dog is standard in our family. Now, another thing that I don't think I don't think should be standard, but is like absolutely amazing on it, raspberry and pineapple. Which did you think was better, the raspberry or the pineapple? Raspberry or did you pineapple. think it needed to be both? Um, I think it was better mixed, but I think individually I'd say the raspberry was better. Mm. I didn't try the raspberry. Oh, I man. tried the pineapple. 
That raspberry was so good though. It had a nice sweet, which matched perfectly with the chips. And the I know, it was really weird how it all salty. went together. Yeah. Dad said it was like sweet and salty, and if you like sweet and salty, you'll like it. And I said, mmm, yeah, I'm not convinced. I know. But it really was good. Yeah. Don't tell Dad I said so, but when it really said, was good. When you said uh, raspberry sauce and pineapple sauce, I was like, um, no. I was thinking like Sunday flavoring stuff. Yeah, that's like actually that. what he was looking for when we went to the store to buy this stuff, but they didn't have that. So we got Actual canned pineapple. crushed pineapples and we got raspberry jam or jelly or whatever that was. So raspberry though. preserves. So worth it. But I think it was really good. I think I was surprised at how well it all worked out. In fact, I didn't expect the water itself to be that great and to make the hot dogs that good. But then all those crazy toppings on top, it was a really good meal. It was surprisingly tasty. But for now, I need to put my smarty pantses to bed. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make this channel strong. Share it with your friends. And now, good night, YouTube. See you till my time. If you haven't subscribed, please, please subscribe, subscribe now. Subscribe to touchy, 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 touchy. Poof. I really liked it. Those are good hot dogs, right? Yeah.